Ah, okay, boys. Okay, boys. Are you ready for this one? Are y'all ready for this one? I don't think you're ready for this. Y'all ready? Yep. We're going for it. And I threw that on my markers, but whatever. Eh, get out of the way. Y'all ready? Y- y'all excited? Y'all excited for this? Let's go. Let's go. Come on. I already took it off. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That is. We're doing this. We're doing this, boys. Uh, you see that? Hold on. Right on the box. 2002. Oh, there's a little cripple right there, but it doesn't matter. This is some wonderful box art. This is some high-quality box art. Let's do this here for this segment. Oh, you know what? Here, let's make sure I actually have audio. Ah, okay, okay. I've turned my mates down. I've turned my boys down. Sorry, I'm recording this video while I'm in a motherfucking Discord chat right now, and it's not the smartest thing ever. So we got the nice little Burkhan instructions. I'll set those off to the side for right now, because we're not getting into that yet. Uh, yeah, boys, you know what, let's just get right into the fucking runners. I am excited to just get into the fucking runnery runner business that is pulling runners apart and stacking them and figuring out how the, where the fuck they're gonna... There goes my vape, boys. Vape down. Oh, well, vaping's bad for you anyway, kids. Keep that in mind. Ah, oh, these pieces are beefy. These are beefy pieces. Uh, where am I gonna put these? Okay, so, this is A. This is runner A. Okay, good. So, despite being a master grade, it still runs off the standard system I am used to for labeling and numbering and stuff like that. Ugh. Come on. There we go. I know you're saying, why don't you just pull it apart? This is so much better. It is so much faster because you actually have a solid tear to work with solid hole, if you will, of glory. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh, no. Not many screws. Not many screws. Not... Fuck those screws. Oh, yeah, we also have some fucking stickers. Oh, no. Yep, that's a sin, Verka. Verka, that's a fucking sin. Look at these stickers. Why this type of stickers, Verka? Fuck you. <laughs> Well, uh, what's his name? I forgot the guy's name, but it's some guy makes these and they push them to their max. Oh my man, this is wonderful though. I- I'm excited to start this. I am scared about those screws though, because I have no, I don't have the foggiest damn idea where those screws could be going at. I'm a little nervous with that. Okay. Ah, uh, yep. There's the polycap sheet. That's the polycap sheet. And I need help fucking ripping these apart. I am grabbing every fucking random tool I can find today for fucking cutting into these bitches. Like, how many different tools have I pulled out for cutting? I, I don't know why I don't just grab the same tool. Okay, so that we'll put that right here on the runner stand. On the runner stand. On the runner. It doesn't stand on the runner stand. What the fuck? Okay. So that was the polycap sheet. We got this thing now, which is F. That says F. I know it doesn't show up well on cam, but that's F apparently. Okay, so we got the Fs in the chat, apparently. I need to fix my one fucking... There we go. Now you'll hold that correctly. Okay. Here we go. That's appropriate. That works. fucking rip it apart right there. I gotta say, this doesn't feel, despite all the runners, this doesn't feel too overbearing yet. Yet being the key word. I'm probably gonna be uh, biting my tongue here in a few seconds. Oh god, this video segment's going on for so long, but I got so many fucking runners. Ah! And I feel sorry for my girlfriend, because she's just lying on my bed, and I'm just throwing the runner papers uh, plastic over there. <laughs> Because I don't have anywhere else to throw it, so sorry, kitty. <laughs> ah. There we go. Man, I got too many fucking runners for this bitch. Too many goddamn runners. Ah. Yeah, there we go. 
Oh my god. It's one of those. Okay. You're going like that. There we go. Oh, I almost knocked it over. Last set, boys, of runners out of this thick box. Well, this is the thickest box I've ever done in the hobby. Because this is my first Master Grade, so we'll see how this goes. It's very... Oh, it feels good. I have no idea where these screws could go, though. Like, it doesn't look like these screws should need to go anywhere, really, from me looking at this. I cannot identify where the screws could need to go, really. But, hey, we'll probably figure that out in time. Here, I'll, pull, I'll put the blades there on that, and we'll put this boy... I'll put the stickers in the box for right now, because I don't... Well, here, I actually need the stickers for the eyes. We'll take out the precious fucking eye stickers for now. Ah, uh, okay. So now that we've done our setup, we have everything laid out, because, hey, we gotta have a little fun with this. I am nervous about these screws, though, because I don't know where these could possibly go in at, but, hey, we'll get to that. So, yeah, the first 5, 20 minutes, just me opening the box. I hope you all enjoyed that. I'll see you all when I'm somewhere in the build. And so we should probably... Look at the instructions a little bit here so we have a little bit of an idea what's... Oh, I've never looked at Master Grade instruction manuals before. Like, this is nice. This is like a proper booklet. Okay, this, it's identifying all the runner parts. Okay, okay. This doesn't look too bad, actually. I'm not seeing... Are the screws optional for, like, securement? Are these thread screws? Am I meant to have a tool to... Well, I see where one screw goes, but it's not saying if it's necessary for the build or not. It looks like it can snap on without the screws. I'd imagine that's just reinforcement and they aren't necessary. There's it complete, apparently, although mine's not going to nearly look as nice because... Ah, that's split up. So... Then they have you. So is the rest of that. Okay, so we can skip the core fighter part because we need to build the rest of that ship. Okay, then it has the guns, the weaponry. It shows you the individual points and all that. It's not too bad. I'm liking what I'm seeing with this instruction manual. So okay, that's that's a win right there. That's a W. I was afraid that was gonna be like the most fucked instruction manual I'd ever seen in my life. That's actually the cleanest instruction manual I've ever seen in my life. And a huge improvement over the fucking wing. Because that was our first video. So I'll see you all in the next part when we actually do have something built. Because I remembered I, had to, I hadn't looked through the instructions yet on camera. So there you go. See you all in the next half. Oh uh, yeah boys. I, I've, I've snapped into the first piece. I've snapped in the first piece. Piece. This is wonderful. I've snapped in the D20 part to D9. Oh my god. I did a little bit of black marker to cover up the crack. Oh my god. And now I'm on to this piece, boys. D25. Wish me luck. I apologize for the weird formatting of updating, but I have the chassis complete. I was going to do updates and give warnings, but I honestly have no warnings with this kit. This is literally the most straightforward chassis build I have ever done on a fucking kit. Which is surprising because this is a master grade. Uh, I, my friends warned me otherwise. They told me master grades weren't really going to be that much more complicated. I thought they were bullshitting me. Uh, no, so far, at least as far as a 2002 actually it's not 2001 i looked on the box it's 2002 as far as a 2002 master grade goes at least this is pretty simple uh i forgot the guy's name so mr verka you've done good my friend just shouted over the mic his name is katogi thank you morgan okay boys so far the verka is a pretty straightforward build i have the head complete which was literally like three pieces not even that bad and now we are starting with the uh, arm pieces right now. So I have the two arm pieces cut out. These require PCA for the polycaps, polycarbs, whatever the fuck you want to poly them up as. 
And yeah, so I will see you guys when the arms are complete and I'll restart the camera if there are any major issues. Okay, boys, I have a little of an addendum here for y'all. So there is this part right here, F3. Okay, so it's going to fit onto, you know, this piece right here. A little warning. These parts, no matter how much you sand them and, like, you know, cut them down, do not fit flush. They do not slide on smoothly. I was literally just ranting in front of my friends that these instructions were smoking crack or something. So, yes, let that be a word of warning. You're gonna need lots of force to get these parts down. No matter how much you sand, it will not be smooth. So, a little warning there. You are not crazy, your gunpla is not broken, the instructions aren't smoking crack, no, you just need to apply lots of unnecessary force. <laughs> Another video addendum for y'all. Um, well, ignore the green paint, but I have highlighted the f Okay, guys, little addendum here. This hand sucks. <laughs> I have enjoyed every part of this build except this hand. This hand is a horrible design. It's fine once it's actually on there, but God, I do not like the look of that thumb. I'm, don't worry, I'm going to get that little nubbing off. Don't worry. It's a master grade, so Vercon needs to be respected. So, here we go, boys. Oh, man, this is going to be less professional than my last video because these guys are going to be in portrait mode for half the fucking video, but it doesn't matter because this is how I... Get the best shit across. Don't ignore that. I built that backwards. I need to fix it. Keep in mind, it's 2.40 in the morning right now where I'm at. But and I am doing this in, like, basically one go because this is my first... Ah, I love this thing so far. This build has been, like, pure sex all the way through. But let me tell you some man. This leg... I, I honestly think... Like, listen. I'll be real. This whole part so far, arms and shoulders included, took me less time than the legs. I, I want to make that clear. I don't know what it was about the legs and the feet, but these four pieces right here have taken me longer to assemble than all this. So, yeah. I mean, hey, and he's, he's looking pretty spiffy. He's looking pretty good. I pretty sure I'm gonna forego most of the stickers though. I'm sorry. I know a big benefit of the Vercaz is stickers. I just can't tonight. Not for this video, because I'm basically doing it in one go, and you can tell I'm sleep deprived because you've been in portrait mode all night. Look at my workstation! It is a fucking mess! My workstation has never been fucking messier! I love this instruction booklet though. These instructions are really good. Best instructions I've ever seen. Yes. <laughs> I'm probably going to be taking a break to edit the first Gundam video. That one took me two weeks. Holy fucking shit. Those just fell. But yeah. So that took me two fucking weeks. And this is going to take me a night. And a lot of energy drinks. Yeah. Okay. I know I have skipped very far ahead here i have added in some custom scuff markings here these guys can see greens reds blacks scuff this boy up to make him look like he's been through battle with zakus and other mobile suits this <coughs> i'm gonna be scuffing up the legs here soon god you can hear my enthusiasm dying with me in this video i love this kit so much i am loving this build i am so close to done Forgive me, boys. I'm not going to be doing the weapons and the other stuff. Uh, I am going to do the core fighter and that. That's a necessity, but I, I just don't have it in me to do weapons right now. Not after this. I still got a torso to do, and I got to finish up the other leg. So I'll see you all in the next update. I'm probably going to do the beam sabers, though. I am definitely going to do the beam sabers. It's 5.44 in the morning. I'm still building the various guns for this thing, but uh, for lack of a better term, it's complete. The Verka is complete. I've given it lots of different colored scuff marks around, as you can tell, to show that it's been in battle. It is glorious, and I am in fucking love with this thing. This is the most beautiful RX I've ever held in my life. 
and it is just, uh, it, it's special. My desk is a, my workspace is a fucking mess from this. Like, this is just a travesty how my workspace is right now. The poor instructions are buried. You can see all the, uh, war markings that have been scuffed onto this boy for decorative coloring. Yeah, it's, a. Uh, it's been a time. But also, again, I'm sorry that I didn't record a lot of that because it was actually a pretty seamless build, if I'm being real. This was just flush from point A to B. It was clear, concise. I was never once questioning if what I was doing was correct. Well, except for that one little piece right there, but it's whatever. The legs will give you a little bit of a irritation. Not a rough time, but it's just a light irritation. So overall, the Vercaw kit, I am fucking, I love it, even though I don't plan on doing the stickers, because, oh god, the stickers kill me, if I'm being real, but I love how this boy looks. I love it. Okay, boys and girls, minus a few parts that are a little bit too irritating for me to do on the little <laughs> bazooka back there, the Vercaw Gundam mobile suit. Uh, I'm so tired. <laughs> oh, it's complete. It's complete. It's a beautiful boy. Done modifications to it with the coloring. It looks like it's been through war. It's all scuffed up and dirtied. I love it thoroughly. Oh my god. Ah, oh, my god. Like, listen, I gotta... Uh, I'm probably gonna post this to the Discord instead of doing a separate video for it, but... CC, thank you. This is the this is the most beautiful kit uh, I have ever owned. Thank you. This this thing is oh I love it so much. It it, it was such a clean, beautiful build. <laughs> the, this was like a pure joy through and through. Ten out of ten IGN. Uh, highly recommend. Ten out of ten smash banger. Twelve out of twelve stars fucking five stars yes everything uh, it's just awesome and and use fools you know you use fools listen I, I might be a little drunk and stoned down my mind but well i'm not drunk i'm joking with that one i'm just super tired but this this thing's awesome i love it uh especially with the little war torn custom job i did to it oh i love it so much oh it's so beautiful oh man oh Yes, 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 okay, uh, let's, let's put you where you belong, let's, let's put you with the brethren, oh uh, yeah, with the brethren, yeah, there we go, the extended RX family, and we now have the king, ah, uh, glorious, it, it's complete boys. It is complete. This thing, oh, it's so awesome. I gave it a little, it's hard to tell on camera, you can see the scuffs probably, but I, I gave it a little war-torn paint job to it. Gave it little bits of green and red at different parts to show that it was like fighting off different Zakus. I gave it little black scuffs to look like it was going through mud and dirt. Oh man. I traced up the back a tiny bit, not a whole lot. I, I'm i sorry, I, I can't bring myself to complete the... Oh god, that's horrible. Eh, stay sealed. But yes, it, it's glorious. I couldn't bring myself to complete all the weapons, though. My brain hurts from doing this, but... Thank you, CC. 10 out of 10 IGN.